Well, for once, it seems like an experiment turned out okay. About two weeks ago, uh, several of you found a new listing on Amazon for the Grandmaster Lockpick Kit. But it's kind of expensive, 114 bucks, And the picture they gave was quite poor. Uh, in fact, even when you click the button to look at a larger picture, it showed you exactly the same thing. But I was intrigued because it had five stars, only two customer views, but I thought, you know... You guys want to see it? I'm going to get one. And so I did. And here it came in the LT620 Grandmaster Lockpick Kit. I think you're going to be surprised by that. Before we get there, though, we've got to talk about who the winner is of this Sarah Pick, Sear Pick Titanium Kit. Uh, pocket kit. It comes in a little folio for your wallet. And uh, see, there were a lot of you really wanted this thing. I think there were a total of, yeah, 3,610 unique comments. And Waddock 2, you are the lucky winner. Great little kit, Bill. And it seems that Waddock 2's never tried out a Bogota. I can't believe that. Well, you're going to get a chance, buddy. PM your address, and I will put this in the mail to you. All right, let's get back to this Grandmaster. This thing is huge. Came in, an, uh, again, a surprise. A very nicely packed box, and it just weighs a ton. 868 grams, or 1 pound, 14 ounces. Very hefty thing. And it came with a book. I had a chance to read the book and actually play with the lock picks. What they tell you right up front is, well, let me open it. I'll show you. You'll figure it out for yourself. All right, let's get rid of this heavy cardboard container. Nice case, and this thing folds up, and it's going to be out of the frame. It is huge. So you'll notice right away that it starts giving us names of different cars. And... From the picture and from the advertisement, you can't tell that. You think it's some kind of super lockpick kit. And it is. It's a car lockpick set. Now, you know I have no experience picking car locks, and so I was quite excited to see this thing. So I took it out. and Let's take a look at them first. Let's just grab one at random out of the Chrysler. They are all built the same. It's got spring steel, the complete length, and then they've got laminated handles here. And they are all numbered, C4, right, to, so you know exactly which one you're dealing with. The book tells you which ones to use on different models of cars. This just tells you which makes to choose from. All of these are nothing but jiggler picks. They're not rakes. You don't put them in and rake them in and them out. You put them in the keyway, and then you kind of rock them up and down. And apparently someone's put an awful lot of thought into these. They've analyzed the different makers' key profiles. And they've come up with the, the most likely one. So you got a total of six picks under the Chrysler. So that, they're double-ended. So there's 12 different profiles. And in the book, they just tell you there's no right answer. Grab the one they recommend, put it in, rock it, and see if you can't get an open. And if not, just move down the line. One of them will very likely open that lock. I can tell you for sure, I, went, I opened up my neighbor's Ford Explorer. And let's see if I can find the one that it was. It was one of the very simple. This one opened up a, a Ford Explorer, 1995. Quite an old one. Now, I will tell you, these open up the doors, and they open up the trunks. Uh, they tell you very specifically, do not try to start a car. Most of them today have the electronic protection, like the patch system, and there's several versions of that. If you try to start a car with the keys, you'll end up damaging the control system, and it won't start. It's just going to turn itself off anyway. But if you've got a lockout situation, I opened up a total of four cars since I got this in two days ago. I opened up that Ford Explorer. I opened up a Toyota Camry with the Asian picks. I opened up my wife's Subaru Forester, and that also opened up with the Asian picks. And I opened up my neighbor's Range Rover. So that Range Rover was four years old. So I did not start it, but it opened up the back end and opened up the door. Amazing kit. I have no experience picking locks, but if I did, I would definitely want this kit. $116 from Amazon. I got free shipping because I got... Oh, I got, I got free shipping, but I, I thought I had Amazon Prime, but apparently not. $114.81. And you get a total of two, three, four, five, six, thirty-six picks, a gas cap pick, and then of course they throw in a tension wrench. But they tell you you really don't need that tension wrench. These are because they're rockers, you put them in and you apply tension as you're rocking it up and down. And that's what I did. And I opened up all four of those cars very, very quickly. None of them took more than five minutes. So 
I'm pretty excited. I'm going to have to order myself one of these things now in case I ever get a lockout. So anyway, there you go. The Grandmaster Lockpick Kit. It's called the LT620. If you go on Amazon and search for that term, you will find it. And apparently they sell out quick. They have only four left in stock. I was lucky to get the, the first one of, of a batch of five. So anyway, if you think you might like to have this, you're going to have to put in that secret word, guys into a comment, send it to me within 24 hours. After 24 hours, turn off those comments, randomly select one of you, and I will send this heavy thing anywhere on the planet Earth. Good luck, guys. Thanks a lot. Stay safe. Stay legal.